Hello, my Cocoa Puffs. It's your girlfriend, Coco Peru. Uh, coming to you uh, now, not in my bathroom, but in my kitchen here in Van Nuys. I'm switching things up, you know. <laughs> That's what you do when you can't leave your house. Um, but uh, I think this is the fifth installment, but really, who's counting, of my little video thing called uh, Coco Thoughts While in Solitude. Trying to appreciate the little things in life. That really are the big things. With my little sign here that I bought at Kohl's. Anyway, um, when I lived in New York City, right before you know, I moved out to Los Angeles, I was living in this apartment on 122nd and Broadway. I absolutely loved this apartment building. It was filled with characters. But one of my neighbors was this old Jewish woman named Hermine. She lived with the husband, Charlie. I just adored the two of them, but she was a character. Uh, pushed her way into my apartment when I first moved in because she wanted to see what I had done with the place. Um, took a time looking around, but another time we had a woman in our building uh, on our floor, in fact, who was a hoarder. It was terrible. And um, her family, she lived alone. If you saw her in the elevator, she was clean. She wore perfume. Her hair was always done nicely. But her apartment... Uh, her family always knew to send someone to clean it out when the stench came out from underneath the door and the super would call her family and they would send down a cleaning crew to, to clean out her apartment. Well, the first time it happened, I, I couldn't believe all the garbage that was in our little, uh, in the back of our apartment building that came just from our apartment. And I happened to come upon it as we were as it was happening. And when I went up to our floor, her mind was there in the in the hallway. And she had said, Oh my God. I said, What's going on? She said, You won't believe what's going on in there. I she of course had pushed her way into the apartment. Said, Darling, you can't believe the way that woman lives. The the garbage piled, piled. Nowhere she she had a pathway through boxes of pizza, tins of cat food, feces. It's terrible that anyone could live like that. And I, at the time, there was no hoarding show on television. I, there was not even a word for it. I but I knew that it was something. So I said to her mom, I said, "Oh, it's such a shame she has that illness." And she looked at me. She said, "Illness? No, she's a pig." Oh, I miss her mind terribly. I miss it terribly. Anyway, uh, when we moved out here to Los Angeles, we had a neighbor two doors down, and she was very elderly, and we would see her being pushed around in her wheelchair by the aide that came in to help her. And we always waved, you know. And uh, one day, we had learned that she had passed away, and I was very sad, but... Uh, uh, not too long after that, we saw all these cars in front of the house early in the morning. People running down the street. I said, what the hell's going on? So being the Mrs. Kravitz that I am, I went outside to investigate. And what was happening was they were having a, an estate sale in a home. Honey, I was running with those people. They were like vultures in this woman's home. And I got, it was, it started at 8. I got there at 8.30. Everything was already uh, sold, basically. But her house was preserved from like the 1950s and 60s. It was just chock full of mid-century lamps, wonderful things that I, I missed out on the opportunity to buy that I would have loved. But I did, we did buy a couple of things. Oh, I think you just saw my thumb without my fingernails. Anyway, uh, I can't talk without moving my hands. Anyway, um, we did buy a couple of things. And one of them was this cute little... Uh, container for I keep chocolates in it for the gardeners but it says I took them out so you can read it for nauseous only now the reason I bought this was because growing up we used Yiddish words that I had no idea were Yiddish words one of them being nosh you know my mother would say honey a little something to nosh on you know a little something something it always meant it wasn't a meal just a little something to nosh on that could tide you over to when you were ready for your meal. So I saw this container. I, I snatched it up. No one had bought it. It was mine. I'm so happy with it. But then Raphael found something. And he he you know he said, I love this. And he wanted to buy it. You see this here. It says Shalom. 
he wanted to buy it. It's needlework. And uh, he said, look at this. It's, I, 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 really, I love this so much, but it's ugly, isn't it? I said, well, darling, you love it. And, and if it's ugly, that's all the more reason to buy it. You know, I celebrate sometimes finding beauty in things that others might think are ugly. And, you know, this, this piece is faded and it's, it, you know, but, but we just absolutely both loved it. So we bought it. Shalom. What a wonderful, what a wonderful thing to remind ourselves. So we bought these two things and I'm, couldn't be happy. We bought a third, but I'm not going to show it to you because it's in the garage. It needs to be repaired, a piece of artwork. And that for me was my favorite find. But these two things have made me so happy. But here's the here's what I wanted to remind you about these little things that remind us about the big things. Um, we both came home from this woman's house, you know, looking at all of her things. She had uh, pictures, uh, artwork collected from all over the world where she had traveled with her husband, musical instruments, all sorts of wonderful items, uh, things from her children. And I said to Raphael, I'm so sad because, you know, we didn't take the time to get to know this woman. We always just kind of waved. Um, and I feel badly because that's the one thing I did love about, you know, living in an apartment building was that you were forced to have to get to know your neighbors. And often you were so delighted when you did get to know them. And I felt terrible that we never got to know this older woman because I'm sure she was just chock full of stories, having looked inside her home and had that opportunity to see all of the wonderful things she had gathered up over the years. So I guess what I'm trying to say is when this whole pandemic is over, hopefully you'll remember to put down your phones and your games and whatever else and really get to know your neighbors and the people around you because we're all just chock full of stories. And the more we tell our stories, the more we learn about ourselves. So anyway, that, 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 that's looking at these things. I, I, I remember to celebrate, uh, well, some of the ugly that I find beautiful. Uh, memories of my mom and using Yiddish words that I didn't even know were Yiddish. We just used them. And of course, a uh, reminds her to uh, get to know our neighbors and the people around us. All right, sweethearts, I love you all, and hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now.